Great. So today we're looking at one of our favorite false prophets, rock star wannabe Robin Bullock. And we're going to listen to some clips. So here we go. Hallelujah. You know, I'm just talking about several things today, just talking about different things. And, and uh, I know people wish I would shut up, but I won't. So I won't. I'm not going to shut up. So here is the thing. And, you know, don't challenge the fire that comes out of my mouth. Don't challenge the fire that comes out of these other prophets' mouths. So right here in Robin's arrogance and attempt at intimidation, he's telling the, the listener, do not challenge what comes out of his mouth. Now, this is absolutely antithetical to what our Holy Scripture teaches us. In the book of 1 John 4.1, can read verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Why? Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Wow. But here, false prophet Robin Bullock says, don't listen to what the Bible says. Don't challenge him. He says that what comes out of his mouth and the other prophets is fire. This is absolutely bananas. Robin is a confirmed false prophet with a history of falsely prophesying, including the presidential election of 2020, where he prophesied that Donald Trump was going to win. He said that God told him Donald Trump was going to win the 2020 presidential election. It didn't happen. Would you call that fire or would you call that false prophecy? He speaks things from the vain imaginations of his own heart. He is a fraud. When a prophet speaks, fire is released. Don't challenge that. Don't challenge that. Find out in the book of Revelation what happens to, the, to all those who oppose the two prophets in the days of the beast. Now here, absolutely shocking, this arrogant, pompous man puts himself at the same level as the two witnesses in the book of Revelation. It is off the charts. And sadly, his listeners out in the audience and then across the nations, because this guy has a far reach, they believe this. They can't even fathom that what he just told them was number one, don't challenge, don't listen to 1 John 4, 1, and then brags of himself by putting himself at the same level as the two witnesses. It is just unbelievable. It, the, the, the narcissism oozes. His cup overfloweth with arrogance and narcissism. This man has a video and audio record of falsely prophesying. And again, the audience sits googly-eyed, thinking that he is some great one. And by the way, he's the one telling them that he is this great one. Even at the same level as the two witnesses in the book of Revelation, it is stunning. But here's what I would say to Robin Bullock. I'll take your challenge. I oppose you. I challenge what comes out of your mouth because what comes out of your mouth is not fire. It's, well, to use a biblical term, it's dung. You're a fraud. So I, let it be known this day, I stand opposed to you. I stand against you. And I will continue to expose the things that come out of your mouth. Because though you have the track record of being a false prophet, uh, very, pe very few people see that you teach Antichrist doctrine. I mean, there you go. So it's bad enough that you're a false prophet and that you make your living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. You teach contrary to what our Holy Spirit teaches us through biblical scripture you are devastatingly dangerous and you will have been responsible when all is said and done for shipwrecking the faith of tens of thousands if not more stay away from this man he is who jesus warned you about in our holy bible One more thing before I end this video, 
because this man took the time to come on video and brag about himself that he was equal to the two witnesses, uh, let's see it. Let's see a demonstration. After all, you're the one that made the threat. I am responding and I'm saying I'm challenging you. Uh, let's see you enact your so-called ability which you said is equal to that of the two witnesses. And here's what will happen, Robin, nothing. Because you, in no way, shape, or form, uh, can even hold a candlestick to the two witnesses of Revelation. It is as smug as one can be and cultish. You are a cult leader who is absolutely deceiving all of your followers.